Now that we've installed the sound sets for Virtual Drumline and the Virtual Drumline template in Sibelius 5, I've gone ahead and launched Sibelius. And I'm presented with the Quick Start window, which you are probably familiar with and have seen numerous times upon launching the program. So before we actually open the template file itself, though, I'm going to cancel out of here. And there's a window we need to get very familiar with. And that is the Playback Devices window, which you'll find here in the Play menu. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And this window is very important because it gives you the overall landscape of how your playback devices work and which sounds Sibelius is going to load when you're working in a particular project. So the important thing uh, for starters in this window to understand is the playback configuration. You'll see right here it says configuration. And this menu gives you choices of different playback configurations. And these buttons allow you to interact with those configurations, saving new ones, renaming them, deleting them. You'll see by default, uh, just straight out of the box, Sibelius comes with three playback configurations. There's your default, which probably just uses your basic general MIDI stock sounds that your computer sound card provides you with. You also have a couple that Sibelius has designed for you called Sibelius Essentials with 16 sounds or Sibelius Essentials with 32 sounds. As a reminder, Sibelius Essentials is the library that ships with Sibelius 5 and it is a contact player based library and uh, if I just select Sibelius Essentials 16 you'll see now we've changed our configuration and down here if you were noticing the uh, the active device has actually changed if I go back to default over here you'll see the active devices changed again so what we want to do for starters is create some configurations that are going to be customized to use virtual drumline sounds so I'm just going to delete this device from my active devices and please note over here these are your active devices over here these are your available devices and this particular machine I'm working on right now has a, a number of uh, various MIDI devices and plugins which is why you're seeing all these over here you may not actually see that many on your machine and that's okay it's going to be different on on every machine so for starters I'm just going to select this active device that's actually just my my Mac sound card set of sounds basically I'm going to deactivate that and over here in my available devices uh, I'm going to see a selection for contact player 2 and you'll see this this is basically a plug-in this is my audio unit plug-in which is why you see the word AU it's a contact formatted plug-in by native instruments contact player 2 uh, you may also see that you have a VST plug-in uh, particularly if you're on a Windows machine you will see contact player 2 which is a VST style plug-in because I'm on a Mac I'm actually seeing both flavors of plugin and uh, it doesn't necessarily really matter which one I use but because AU is a little bit more of a Mac centric uh, plugin format I'm just going to select that one and I'm going to with that highlighted I'm going to click activate and now you'll see I have an active instance of contact player 2 over here in this column right here this is the sound set column and this is a very important column for you to understand basically whichever sound set you assign in this column that's going to be the library that Sibelius chooses its sounds from when it's deciding which sounds to load so right now by default it loaded the Sibelius Essentials sound set because that's just sort of the stock library that comes with Sibelius uh, we don't want to use Essentials in this case though we're going to create a virtual drumline configuration so if I click this little menu here, you'll see that I have a selection of various sound sets that are compatible with Contact Player 2. Uh, VDL Sound Set 5.2 is the sound set that I installed when I was using the VDL Sibelius template for 5.2. This is the VDL Sound Set for 5.2.5, which is the one we just installed in the previous video. 
the one that comes with the 525 template. Here's a very important distinction you need to understand. You'll also see Virtual Drumline 2.5, and this is a stock out-of-the-box sound set that comes with Sibelius 5. The good folks at Sibelius actually provided you with a, a pretty good sound set for Virtual Drumline 2.5 straight out of the box. And that'll work all right, but uh, it's not necessarily customized uh, in such a refined way as the one that comes with the actual template. So in, in the case of this demonstration, I'm going to urge you to ignore this sound set. As hard as it may be, ignore this sound set that says Virtual Drumline 2.5. Try to forget that that's there. And just focus on the ones that are named VDL sound set and then the version number of Sibelius that you're working with or the version number of Sibelius that your score originated in. The distinction between 5.2 or 5.2.5 is something we're going to cover in a future video. And that basically pertains to people who have used the 5.2 template for a while and are now using 5.2.5. And uh, which sound set you select here will make a difference and we're going to get into that uh, down the road. That's just a little bit more of an advanced concept. So since we're using the 525 template, I'm going to assign that as my sound set.